Mr. Liu, Mr. Dixon, Dr. Zhang, friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for someone, depending on where you are. On behalf of the Insurance Authority, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to the Asian Insurance Forum 2022. It's fifth editions held so far. It is particularly exciting to see so many familiar and new faces turning up in person at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. This year, we have more than 300 delegates on site, which is almost double of last year. Together with the 20% increase of virtual attendees, this is another strong testimony that Hong Kong is back. 2022 marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. Influenced by a space of social events, the complex geopolitical environment and the pandemic, some critics have revived their omen that the principle of one country, two systems is no longer sustainable arguing that Hong Kong should be written off as an international financial center. It is therefore comforting to know that President Xi has made an unambiguous affirmation in his speech here in July that the one country, two systems principle served the fundamental interests not of not only Hong Kong, but also the whole nation. And that such a good policy must be adhered to in the long run. This has helped to dispel lingering misconceptions and instill much confidence on our future as an open and free metropolis. The IA can take pride on steady progress made along two key fronts in 2022, namely, consolidation of our status as a preferred base of headquarters for insurance group under the group-wide supervision framework, an improvement of our attractiveness as a platform for issuance of insurance link securities. The supervisory colleges for three designated insurance group chaired by the IA are gaining traction, while the third catastrophe bond in the pipeline is reinsuring our claim to be a dynamic IRS hub. Notwithstanding this achievement, there's little room for complacency. We should make constant and timely enhancements to GWS framework, expanding the number and variety of corporations embraced by this critical infrastructure. Of equal importance is the need to muster the basic elements of an ecosystem so that the Hong Kong can reap the benefits derived from the complete IOS value chain. The theme of reflect, rest, revive for a resilient future is carefully chosen. Since various parts of the world are resuming normal from the pandemic, in accordance with its own pace. The insurance industry has demonstrated remarkable resilience and versatility amid the pandemic, offering appropriate and affordable products to shield members of the public from unexpected perils caused by prolonged disruptions. My sincere gratuity goes to industry stakeholders of all of you who spare no effort in adjusting product mix and broadening distribution channels in response to shifting customer sentiments and behavior over the past three years. Let me give you a favor of what we have today. Mr. Liu Fuxiao will kick off the proceedings with perspective from the China Banking Insurance Com Regulatory Commission and closer cooperation between 11 cities 
in the Greater Bay Area and expectation for Hong Kong. The Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury, together with the CEO of the IA, will, gain, will engage in the di policy dialogue on roadmap for insurance industry by taking stock of recent developments and evolving external environment. After the Chief Executive, the Honorable John Lee, has delivered his keynote speech, Mr. Bernard Chan will moderate the first panel discussion, focusing on how GWS framework could sharpen our competitive edge as an international financial center before adjourning the morning session. The afternoon sessions will begin with a fireside chat featuring an exchange between the Financial Secretary and Mr. K.P. Chan on cornerstone for success of the insurance industry. This will be followed by the second panel discussion where Dr. Stephen Wong, an expert speaker, take a closer look into Hong Kong, how Hong Kong should maximize its support for the dual circulation economic strategy. Then, after a short break, Mr. Jonathan Dixon will update us on the major projects of International Association of Insurance Supervisors that bearing on Asia region. Last but not the least, Mr. Casey Kwok will take charge of the third and final discussions on how insurance could spur collaboration, innovation, and finance in the context of climate change action. Let me conclude with some personal reflections of the role insurance could play. The insurance industry is unfortunately understated and underrated. As a career accountant from more from day one in the auditing and advising insurance company and as the chairman of the IA, I'm best placed to testify the significant but an unassuming way in which insurance has been backing up personal, commercial, and economic activities. On a personal level, from accident health policies that alleviate financial burden posed by loss of income and hospitalization, critical illness coverage that provide cash buffer for math medical and rehabilitative treatment, annuities that mitigate longevity risk, the endowment fitting family goals, insurance is a handy tool for lifetime financial planning. On a commercial level, the merit of insurance products such as business disruption, employees' compensation, motor vehicle, property damage, and general liability are indispensable for prudent daily operation. On an economic level, aviation, goods in transit, ships, trade credit lines, and inward reinsurance are powerful ingredients driving the pursuit of active involvement by Hong Kong in a dual circulation economic strategy. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the IA is determined to work closely with you to realize strategic vision of our motherland and to propel growth to cater for rising community aspirations and ultimately to advance the well-being of the planet that we all call home. So thank you very much. Thank you.